It looks like a perfectly ordinary lorry from the front. A building contractor, maybe? A small businessman, certainly. But the shock comes when he's driven past you. That normal lorry turns out to be in Aladdin's cave of bits and pieces from toilet soap to paraffin. This mobile shop is one of about 40 travelling the lanes of the Leicestershire countryside. Fewer remain on the roads each year, and yet those that do provide an essential service to those living in small village communities miles from the towns. Donald Sampson was on his rounds near others' thought when I caught up with him, and I asked him how he came to be a mobile shopman. Someone offered it for sale, and I bought it. It's like that as a partner. Yeah, when did that happen? About eight years ago. Yeah. What gave you the idea to take up this sort of no challenge? No idea at all. Were you it working for someone else? Oh, yes, yes. And you, perhaps you got fed up with that, didn't right. you? The offer just came along, and I thought it was a good chance to branch out on my own. Yeah. I just bought it. What does it involve, running this sort of business? Well, just selling hardware, and you know, meeting people all day, and this kind of thing. Yeah, looking at the back here, I can see you're stoked up with wood and paraffin and oil. Now, do a lot of people in the Leicestershire villages still use old coal fires? Oh, yes, yeah, certainly, yes, yes. And where did all this kit come from? Because it's pretty old, isn't it? Well, it just bought with the business. I don't think how old it is. Well, take this lorry. This must be one of the last going, isn't it, of this I'll, kind? Yeah. I would imagine so. I've been told it's at least 50 years old, the back of a vehicle is. Yes, down at the front, it looks pretty modern. In fact, yes, when yes. you first see you yes. driving down the road, you, you get a bit of a shock when you shot past, and you suddenly see this, what looks like a clapped-out old vehicle, but it's done very faithful service, yes. hasn't it? It's even been horse-drawn in the past. You know, they used to call it the two horses. It's just put on a new chassis every so often when the, you know, the lorry's worn out, put it on a new lorry. Looking through there, it's absolutely jam-packed with stuff. But how much sort of kit do you carry aboard when you've loaded up? Um, in value? I think it's about 400 pounds worth. Do you feel as though you're a bit of a gypsy, really? Possibly so, yeah. What do you get up to when you go on your own? <laughs> well, you just do odd jobs for old people, this kind of thing, help people. Yeah, now you see, that's outside, really, what one would imagine is the scope of your business. If you, you help old people, what, you, you get involved when people have got a bit of spot of trouble and there's no one about? Yeah, yeah, you know, you change brushes, change checks for old people that they acquire, you know. You're a bit of a businessman, a bit of a social worker, and a bit of a gypsy all rolled into one, I suppose. How long do you think you're going to be able to carry on working for yourself? It's a difficult question today, isn't it? Nobody knows. I mean, we can't see the future. I hope another five, ten years at least. It's difficult for the self-employed today. Yes, what are the big difficulties you're facing? Um, running costs, petrol costs, and, uh, maintenance of the vehicles. You see, you're still a young man, and if you think you've only got another five or ten years left of this this business, what the heck are you going to do at the end of it? Unfortunately, yeah. There's always something cropped up, isn't there? You sound, in fact, a bit like Mr. McCorber, that something will always oh, turn up. True, true. And luckily for the people in the Leicestershire villages, you're there, Mr. McCorber, yes. because without you, I think it is fair to say, isn't it, that they would be pretty cut off. And yes, they, they in many, miss... many cases, yeah. yeah. 